Hello everyone, welcome to week three of IS688. This lecture will be about module two logistics before we get into further lectures about graph mining. Uh, as normal, I will start off with a few announcements for the week. Uh, note that I have put together the Medium publication for the class and I've added all of you as writers. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if you get an email notification of this, but at the very least you should be able to make publications or rather submit stories to this publication. Uh, speaking of this, uh, note that Module 1, Assignment 1, is due now. Uh, as I mentioned in previous lecture, there is not a penalty for late submissions, uh, but you'll see that a number of your classmates have already started submitting Module 1, so uh, to prevent yourself from getting too backed up, you should probably take the opportunity to get this done quickly. Uh, note, tag your story with the tag here, IS688, SPR21A01. Uh, that way it'll show up in the appropriate tab for the Medium publication. And as I mentioned last week, the Medium post rubric uh, is the same as it was before, so pay attention to making sure your motivation is, is clear. It needs to be more than just this is an interesting thing for me to evaluate. Uh, for Module 1, you should be focused on your exploratory analysis, which is the, the, where the most points come from, and then the excellence section on uh, just doing what you can to impress me. For your publication, or rather for your story, once you've written your story, when you click uh, the little option button besides publish, you can see where it says add to publication, and web mining IS688 should show up there, assuming that you are set as a, a, a writer. Uh, if you have issues with this, or this doesn't match your interface, let me know. All right, now that module 1's deadline has passed, it's now module 2's assignment uh, is available. So this is due in a couple of weeks. Note that the module 2 assignment is about graph mining and graph structures in the web. Uh, so as with assignment 1, you need to write a thousand word medium post. Uh, differently though, this assignment is more about extracting graph structures and doing analysis on those structures. Uh, so while Assignment one was more just exploratory. I didn't really have any requirements on what the assignment entailed or what kind of exploratory analysis you did. Here I'm specifically asking you to extract some graph network and do some analysis from chapter five and chapter 10 and define what it means for nodes to be important in this graph and what your graph structure actually entails. As before, you need a strong motivation uh, about why the network you're looking at is interesting. Uh, this time I want you to discuss the source of your network data and what nodes and edges represent. So how are you modeling nodes and edges here? How are you defining importance for your graph? So the lecture we'll go over uh, for this week talks about page rank and evaluating importance as a term of, or a, a metric for in authority uh, or the HITS algorithm, which has hubs and authorities as well. And then the standard kinds of things, so you need to include uh, some description of your analysis. How did you use, or what software did you use? Did you use Network X, Node XL, something similar, since we're working with, with network data? Uh, what bugs did you encounter? Include some figures and tables summarizing your findings. Uh, what are the limitations? And then what's a major or main takeaway from your analysis? To help you with this, or to provide some resources, I have included or added a repository on GitHub for the class, uh, which has example code for the modules. Right now it has example code for module two, which includes code on how to extract graph data from websites uh, and from social networks and how to use Network X. Also, I have included on the Canvas page a link to web harvesting in R using the Arvest package. So if you are more comfortable with R, you can check that out as well. Uh, for the semester project, note that your project proposal is due now as well. Uh, going forward, I have created a project discussions board. Uh, so you can, if you have any questions about anything in the project related to any specific assignment or anything like that, feel free to post those there. All right, for this week, the learning objectives include constructing graphs from web structures, describing at least two ways an adversary may try and exploit search engines, uh, exploring the PageRank algorithm and how PageRank captures importance in graph structures, 
uh, constructing a transition matrix to model web pages and differentiating hubs and authorities. So we'll talk about that in the next set of the lecture. I have a module two discussions forum open as well. So if you have questions about anything we discussed during module two or the assignment associated with module two, uh, feel free to post those there. And then in preparation for next week. So read chapter 10. This week was reading chapter five. Uh, next week, we'll round out the discussion on network analysis and graphs, talking about social networks. Specifically, read sections 10.1, 10.2, and 10.6. Uh, also, as mentioned, assignment 2 is now available. It's due in a couple of weeks. You can check out the GitHub repo for that. Uh, expect feedback from me soon on your project proposal. Uh, thank you to everybody who posted in the project ideas forum. That was useful, I think. That led to some good feedback for you. Uh, and then I'll have additional feedback for this proposal sometime next week. Uh, also note now that your data collection report is assigned. Uh, so that's due in three weeks on the 24th of February. Uh, you need to be thinking about this, how you're gonna obtain your data, how big your data is, how you're gonna store it, these kinds of questions. Uh, it'll be some, kind, some amount of grunt and engineering work, but it's important for you to actually have all your data collected before you can do the analysis and the rest of your project. Uh, so be sure and start work there. And as I mentioned, if you have any questions about anything in Module 2, feel free to post to the Module 2 Discussions Forum.